piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. is freedom. Uh, I think I stole this from Bob Dylan, but maybe I stole this from Woody Guthrie. Freedom for me is waking up in the morning and going to sleep at night and in between doing exactly what I want to do. Well, I got the heat turned on in the shop, let it warm up in there just a little bit. Wet, cold day here in central Iowa today. And I guess tonight we could be having an ice storm from about mid evening till noon tomorrow, something like that. And then from what I hear, we could have a couple more rounds later this week, just like tonight. What's the secret to happiness? The secret to happiness is finding something you love and then doing that for the rest of your life. Well, down here working on the Bronco. And what I'm doing, there's a, there's a lot of messy wires in this thing. Took this out, which uh, I didn't know what it was. It was just zip tied in there. I guess it's a uh, security system. But it was all zip tied in there. This was just hanging there, not connected to anything. I'm not even sure if that's part of it or what that is. It was tied into it somehow. These wires, they weren't connected to anything. This has a little, little button on it. I don't know what that does. This wire was up under the dash. It was tied into a fuse. They just had this smashed in under a fuse. And then this end was just up under the dash, hooked to nothing. So I cut all that and got it out of there. But I think what one problem is with this, one thing that's going on right now, the speedometer doesn't work, the odometer doesn't work, none of the interior dome lights work. And the culprit is down under here. Well, it goes right there. It's the number eight fuse keeps blowing. It's a 15 amp fuse. And I've tried it with a couple of 20 amps. Blows right away, right when you stick the fuse in there. So I'm guessing there's a short somewhere. Now I just have to find it. I read online, I thought there was some wires like up there that go to the visor, the vanity light on the visor, but I certainly don't see any wires up in there, although what I read, it said driver's side, but there's no vanity light up in here unless there's wires that run up behind here and run across or something. I took that light out thinking that might be it, but that all looks good. And I took this all apart back in here and I don't see any wires running up in there. And then I believe it also runs the under hood light, which it doesn't work either. So there's gotta be a short somewhere. I just, I, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna, have to, gonna have to try to track that down. And I guess in my last video, I didn't even say what size the engine is. It's a 351, 5.8 liter. Thought I had mentioned that, but uh, I guess not. I need to start making a checklist or something on things that I need to mention in videos like that. Battery's about dead on my camera and my other battery was dead. It's currently charging. So I'm going to keep digging away on this thing and I'll let you know if I find anything. Well, I have it at least partially figured out. Been working on this thing for several hours now and it had a short in it somewhere. Well, the heater's kicking on. It had a short in it somewhere and every time I would put in this number eight fuse, let me get a light and turn the heater off. But every time I would put in this number eight fuse, right, if you can 
can see it right there. It would immediately blow. Key on, key off, whatever. It would immediately blow. That fuse runs all of your interior lights, the odometer, speedometer, um, under hood light, and it also runs that actuator down on the transfer case for four wheel drive. The guy I got it from said he bench tested that actuator and it was, it tested fine. And I bet it's because that fuse was blown. So I'll be hooking that back up and seeing if that works as well. But I tore it apart in here. I was all up under the dash. And I, I just, I went everywhere up under the dash, back behind all these, uh, the switches and everything. I'd unplug them and see if that fuse would blow and it did. One other thing that, uh, that fuse is for, I believe it's for the memory on your stereo. So this mess that, uh, was back behind the stereo, I just unplugged it here. Went and got a fuse, stuck it in there. It didn't blow. I pulled it back out, put it in again. Jesse, what are you doing? We're not going for a ride. Jesse. Jesse, come on. Come on, out of there. Come on. Thank you. Now, now, where was I? Anyway, I unplugged the stereo, put a new fuse in there. It didn't blow. Pulled it back out, stuck it back in again. It still didn't blow. Turned on the ignition, and lo and behold, the odometer actually came on. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I don't have my switch in here to turn on the dash lights either. Anyway, it has 175,000 miles on it, which I believe that's what the guy told me it had on it. So uh, she's just broke in. So anyway, now I need to get all this put back together. I also need to see if I have any interior lights. I took that one down. One thing I read online is there was actually a, a TSB on these technical service bulletin and something to do with the mounting screws that hold, well, the lights down there, but that hold that light on are actually too long. And they said what happens is even going through a car wash or down the road at speed, if the top of the truck moves down just a little bit, it can make contact. There's one of those screws that it can make contact with. And if it does, it's gonna blow that fuse. Well, you just made a mess, didn't you? You had to dump George's bowl, didn't you? George. Jesse. But as you can see with the glove box off, um, the lights on in there, but these lights out here, those aren't on. Of course that light isn't on, it's not up there, but it was burnt out and I haven't tried the one back there. I think I have some bulbs that will fit in there, so I'm going to, so I'm going to put that light back up on the top and see if we have some light. When I get going more on this Bronco, I'm gonna to try to show more of actually what I'm doing. Right now though, I'm just trying to take care of some little things and tracking down a short in electrical wiring. One, that, that took several hours to do, and two, not, not real interesting. So, looks like, uh, looks like the wife's gonna be getting a new stereo in this rig. Well, it is the next day. And we did get a little ice last night. It's cold out right now. It says it's 24 degrees, but it feels a lot colder. That right there is pretty darn slick. I'm not sure if any of that ice is gonna melt today or not. It's supposed to be kind of cold the rest of the week. But last night, like you saw, I was working on this and got all the interior lights working. I actually thought I had some white bulbs for these lights. Had some blue ones. So the doors, well actually the other door, I'll show you that in a minute. Put a blue one in this one. And this light up here now works. Both of those work. And the rear light, rear light back there works. 
Gotta find me a cover for that. I thought I saw one in here, but maybe I'm thinking of something else. And then I need to put everything back together in here. Over on this side, I couldn't get this one to work. The bulb down there just, I just wouldn't come on. There's something wrong with this switch up here too, as far as the windows and everything. Also missing the trim piece that goes along here, although I think I have one of those. But I couldn't find the little switch for the light up here anywhere. Yeah, well, it's down here. And I don't know if wires have come disconnected or the switch is just bad or what the deal is, but not a big deal. Not gonna worry too much about it right now. But the lights don't come on when you open the driver's door. So I may try to get down to the salvage yard pretty soon. The headlight switch, it works but the dimming of the dash lights, um, it's kind of intermittent. So may try to find a new one of those at the salvage yard, along with a new, a new bezel to go around the dash since it, uh, since it, since it's all broken. The mounting tabs. When somebody removed it, they just uh, kind of, kind of boogered it up a little bit, and. Dash bezels, they aren't hard to find in the salvage yard. However, where can I put this? However, since this is a Bronco, it has a cutout right there for the rear window defrost. So finding one like that might be a little more difficult. I have Jimmy from Johnson's Garage out in Oregon. He's going to take a look and see if he can find one the next time he goes to the salvage yard that he goes to out there. Just don't find Broncos in the salvage yard, at least not the one I go to all that often. But again, not a huge deal. We'll get that taken care of. Also, I also may try to get a new rear window switch since that one got broke as well. And also, and also the 4x4 switch since, uh, since that got broke off the back of the bezel also. And that headlight's burnt out. I thought I had another bulb in here, but I didn't. Got it all taken apart, took the battery out so I could get, you know, so I could pull it all out of there real easy. And then I discovered I don't have a bulb for it, so put it back together. Probably not going to be driving it around at night too much right now anyway. So also last night back here, I put two new bulbs in here. Those are blue as well, which I may swap those out to white. Just have to get some. And the third brake light was burnt out and I did have the correct bulb for that. So that's all working now. So now I'm going to, like I said, put all this back together and then just work on cleaning this all up in here. It's really not, all that bad. I mean, yeah, it's dirty, but just needs cleaned up a little bit. I just want to get some of that done before I start really, uh, really tearing into this. I think the first thing I'm going to do, what are you guys doing? I don't even know if Jesse's in here. Anyway, I think the first thing that I'm going to do on this is well first I'm, i still need to get the oil changed in it but uh as far as really digging into it and getting to work on it i think the first thing i'm going to do is pull all this off and we're going to put a new radiator support in it and also want to get two new front fenders and a hood that will change the look of it a whole lot we get two new front fenders on it new hood on it and then we can get to work moving back and uh, we're gonna make the whole thing look pretty darn good. I'd really like to use original Ford front fenders, but finding those in a salvage yard around here, it can be rather difficult. It took me about a year to find totally rust-free ones to put on my green truck, and I really don't wanna wait a year to find fenders for this thing. Finding a hood in the salvage yard, that's not too hard to do. You can usually find a hood pretty easily. Bad thing on these hoods is right on this front lip here, if they start rusting like that, there's really not a whole heck of a lot you can do with them. Easiest thing is to just replace them. The doors, they really aren't too bad. Um, this one's got a spot right there, which I don't know, I'll have to look at that a little closer. Other than that, it looks pretty decent. Doors aren't usually hard to come by either. 
And then the rest of this stuff, I'll probably just have to order aftermarket stuff as far as rockers and and these rear quarter panels. Want to mention real quick the license plate wall. If you have a license plate or anything else that you'd like to send to the Fox Shop, that address is down below. Also, if you're interested in picking yourself up a channel sticker or a Fox Shop hoodie, which I'm not wearing right now, t-shirt, zipper hoodie, that link, that's down in the description too. So we're getting there. We're, we're going to get started on this here real soon. Just trying to take care of the small things. And as cold as it is out right now, I can't be doing any painting anyway. When I get a new radiator support, I, I would like to paint it the color that we're going to be painting the Bronco. And also the inside of the fenders would need to be painted. However, the firewall, I'm not sure if I'm going to paint that or not. We were talking about it, and if we end up painting this blue, well, we talked about maybe blue with white two-tone or blue and the top white. And so if we do that, I could just paint the inside of the fenders white. Probably look okay. So there's a lot of stuff to think about yet. There's also a lot of supplies that need to be got yet. And we'll get there. I mean, this isn't going to be done in a week or a month. It's going to take probably a few months to get this all done. Don't forget to head over to Central Oregon Shenanigans. James and Kyle over there always up to something. I think they just finished up some... Uh, I think they just put the final touches on their expedition. And rumor has it they're going to have a 78 Bronco coming to their channel pretty soon. I'll link them down below. So give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.